In prior Blackwell reviews, I've used Cyberpunk 2077 and Alan Wake 2 to get some metrics together, and we'll kick off by doing just that. Looking at native 4K RT overdrive first of all, a 16 frames per second average with 175 millisecond lag, basically unplayable as you'd imagine. By the time we get to 4x multi-frame gen from DLSS performance mode, frame rate is at 157 frames per second with a 58.4 millisecond latency average. Lowest possible latency comes from DLSS super resolution only, no frame gen, and that's delivering a 41.2 millisecond average. What I'm noticing with latency here is that compared to 5080 and especially 5090, there are more appreciable bumps in latency moving between the MFG variants, from around 10 milliseconds to 17 milliseconds as we add in those extra generated frames. 4X MFG is offering 3X the frame rate of DLSS Super Resolution alone and 10 times the frame rate of native rendering. At this point, I'd like to point out a misconception I'm seeing in some of the comments. Latency has a relationship with frame time, but it is not the same. Every game has a different base latency, even when running at the same frame rate, as we'll demonstrate later. Super Res is our lowest average latency here at 41 milliseconds, but that's from a 53 FPS frame rate average. That's fine, actually. A 41 millisecond latency does not mean the game feels like it's running at 24 frames per second. That's not how latency works in relation to frame times. Anyway, comparisons to 4090 with 2x frame gen have been invited by Nvidia itself in its 5070 non-TI marketing, so let's look at that. In this scenario, 5070 Ti with 3x MFG is the closest match to 4090 output. 128 FPS average on 4090 plays 126 on 5070 Ti. However, a 39 millisecond latency metric on the old flagship rises to 55 milliseconds on 5070 Ti. So although playable, it won't feel quite the same. With 4X MFG, the 5070 Ti produces 157 FPS average against 4090 at 128 FPS, a 24.5% frame rate lead, but the latency differential increases to 19 milliseconds. So, 5070 Ti can produce a version of Cyberpunk that looks similarly as fluid as the 4090, but it won't play quite the same. That said, I did spend a fair amount of time playing it, and it was fine overall. In the 5080 review, I highlighted how Alan Wake 2 had a high base latency, which posed real issues with frame generation. And of course, as 5070 Ti is essentially a weaker 5080, the same issue is here, slightly amplified. The key to a good experience is ensuring that the base latency is decent before attempting frame gen. Base latency, let me explain that again. It has a relationship with frame time, but it cannot be converted in the way some comment writers seem to believe. Now I'm gonna disregard native resolution rendering for this one in terms of metrics, as the frame rate is ridiculously low, but check out Super Res metrics here. Average frame rate is 59 FPS, higher than the 52 FPS in my Cyberpunk run. However, base latency here is 83 milliseconds versus 41 milliseconds in Cyberpunk. The game runs faster in these clips, but base latency on Alan Wake is already much higher before we factor in frame generation. So by the time we add frame gen, a 109 frames per second frame rate sounds nice, but 106 millisecond latency definitely isn't. Looking at the 4090 comparison, 2x frame gen on 4090 is most similar to 3x MFG on 5070 Ti. 90 FPS on the last gen flagship versus 85 FPS on the Ti. With 4x MFG, the Ti has a 21% frame rate lead, but the latency penalty is huge at 41 milliseconds versus 4090. That's not to say that you can't get a good MFG experience from Alan Wake 2 on 5070 Ti. Keeping the same settings in the game and running at 1440p resolution, perhaps a better fit for the Ti in the first place, takes 4F MFG lag down from 108 milliseconds to 68 milliseconds, essentially a match for 4K on 4090. And you don't need to lower resolution either. Let's face facts, 5070 Ti isn't best of the best hardware, but it is still a capable 4K performer. Across 18 minutes of gameplay, optimized settings, essentially 4K DLSS performance mode with 4X MFG 
on high settings with low RT and direct lighting active, averaged 162 frames per second with PC latency at 66 milliseconds. Still a touch on the high side for my tastes, but fine for a slower paced action game like Alan Wake 2. And it's actually lower than the path traced version by around 17 milliseconds. Uh, so yeah, our aim with optimized settings is always to preserve as much of the high end experience as possible, but to claw back as much performance as possible as well. And in doing so, latency drops and makes the input lag hit of frame generation less impactful. I also spent some time playing Star Wars Outlaws, which also has an excellent full RT path tracing implementation. And the 5070 Ti was pretty great actually. 4K output from DLSS performance mode using 4X MFG. All settings maxed, even with ultra full RT. My capture here was around 25 minutes long with a 147 frames per second average. Input lag averages across the whole clip at 50 milliseconds. Again, this isn't super crisp control, but as a means by which to balance absolute state of the art visuals with playable latency and super high frame rate, it works. All gameplay footage here, by the way, was taken with VSync off connected to a 4K 60fps capture card. Obviously, the full experience will be very different on a 4K high refresh rate display. Based on what I've seen so far on high end games, I'd be using 3x MFG on 4K 120Hz displays and 4x on anything higher, G-Sync on of course. Yes, there are visual artifacts and the more generated frames there are, the more of them. But the higher the frame rate, the less noticeable they are. Still, the point is that 5070 Ti certainly can deliver a good frame generation experience, but my testing only reinforces my belief that base latency is super important. The lower you can get it, the less impactful the extra lag is. But one thing I do want to stress is that perception of lag will vary from person to person. Some may find the extra lag from frame generation a bit off-putting, others may not notice it at all. Thank you.